So I was sent out on a, my first reviews, Air Force reviews, uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, Minuteman Weapon System Computer, and then I, as the Army representative, and then I was sent to Boeing in Seattle, AWACS, Minuteman, and SRAM, three program offices. So it was a Tri-SPO system program office, uh, Tri-Service Army, Navy, Air Force review. And they put us on different teams. I think I led the uh, organization and planning, scheduling, budgeting teams. Uh, we pulled the reports together. I think we were there five weeks. And uh, General Colonel Driesnack at the time came out accepted our report and they got certified or validated. That name's changed as we've gone through the years. Then I went on another review with the Air Force at Northrop Grumman on the F-5E aircraft. That was down in Hawthorne, California. I was the only Army representative on the team, entirely out of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And I had a responsibility to go across all of engineering, so I had to do the organization, planning, scheduling, budgeting, accounting, analysis and revisions or change control. So that was great because I got to go across the entire discipline. We manually wrote things out then, then a secretary typed it up, we redlined it and did it again. The exhibits or figures were uh, copies of copies, uh, ugly Xerox, gray kind of things, but we covered all the content. We had to learn from bottom up. Um, just like on the Sperry Rand Univac weapon system computer in St. Paul, Minnesota, I looked at every work package in every control account I was responsible for, every earned value technique. I added the budgets up, uh, both uh, time phasing and at complete. Uh, we really learned grassroots bottoms up, and that was true of all the team because uh, there's nothing automated like, like it is today. So I, I argue it was a great. Uh, groundswell for those of us in that era uh, to pick it up and really learn the discipline. The next review, the Army had to start its own. We had to kind of stand on our own. And that was at Boeing Vertol in Ridley Park, Pennsylvania. So that was the first one where I was the Army Review Director uh, leading the first review that the Army led. Again, we didn't have a central like Defense Contract Management Agency running the reviews at that point in time. Army, Navy, and Air Force did their own. Now, the Navy would be the only one that would lead theirs for the ships, Air Force for the aircraft, of course. Army would have helicopters, handled all the ammunition, but we tended to want to be consistent because some of the contractors worked with Army, Navy, Air Force. So I would tend to get a Navy representative on my team uh, and an Air Force representative, and they would try and get um, kind of a reciprocal agreement, people on the other team. At the end of the reviews, we'd send our reports to the other two services, and we would be tough on each other, which worked out okay, because uh, we wound up with something you could defend, substantiate, and justify up the chain of command.